the guys are back at it again separating the chemical containers from the metal frames so that we can store our wood in it while Vanilla is cutting up the plastic containers, Brent is going to be cutting out the front of each of these metal frames so that we can put the wood on the inside. <laughs> I have some meat going in our microwave to dethaw to make sloppy joes for the guys today for lunch and uh, we're just gonna get this mess cleaned up. He's upset because I won't let him touch the camera. Do you ever get that weird, like, why is the camera angle off? It's probably because he's moved the camera. <laughs> Don't touch. Don't touch. Let's get some Brent is now hammering out each of the spots where he made a cut so that anyone putting wood in these frames and taking them out will not get hurt by the sharp edges. Brent is adding these metal supports so that when he stacks them on top of each other it gives extra support and for when there is wood on the inside and they don't bulge out. This microwave, uh, I don't know how old it is, but when we moved in in 2020, there was duct tape holding this part up, so it we quit using it because this part fell out and then the glass fell out right here, so we were like, yeah, probably not safe, so we just use it to store our pans, like my cast irons, and then the one stainless steel pan that I use pretty frequently. It just seems easier. I made a Costco order the other day so that I did not have to venture to Fort Wayne to go get some basic necessities. Toilet paper, paper towel, peanut butter, olive oil, as you can. Sloppy Joes were on the menu for the day, but I needed a side, so I went down to the store to see if there were any chips down there, and lo and behold, there were. I also grabbed a few drinks, because I have not made any tea for the guys in a while, so I figured they would enjoy those. I should have brought a bag.
yesterday? I would say six. This would feel good, I guess. know you've made a good lunch when two people come back to get seconds. We've got Dylan here making himself a completely new plate. Briggs sneaking in some pickles. My kid and Brent came back for some more meat and pickles as well. I would say that was a win. I just walked in. <sighs> to that. Our house is actually quite large. This used to be 27 rooms, five exterior doors. It is a old farmhouse hotel. Our dream is an entertainment game room, TV, movie room. You know what? I'm actually going to change plans. This is something that the boys can do. I'm going to leave it to them. Walker, is that good? Did you have a good nap? Oh, okay. <laughs> it looks like it's... Somebody got something in there. Got something in there. Yeah, yeah, that was kicked out, man. Yeah. I end up having to... I should just put it out in the scrap pile. It slowed down from hitting it, but daggone, they hit it a lot. There was just the time that they just... If you've stuck around till now, thank you for watching. I hope this gave you a little insight onto what campground owners do during the winter. If you could, as always, give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. And if you know somebody else who would be blessed by this video, share it out to them. I hope you have a great rest of your day and until next time, thank you. <laughs>